Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics 5th Edition S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, Sukumar, Party. In this tutorial, we will solve problem set 2.1, problem number 2.13. A small block of weight Q is equal to 44.5 Newtons is placed on an inclined plane which makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. Resolve the gravity force Q into two rectangular components QT, QN acting parallel and normal respectively to the inclined plane. That means there is an inclined plane of 30 degrees angle. A block of weight Q is placed on this inclined plane and the weight Q is 44.5 Newtons. Our aim is to resolve this force into two components. One is along this line and perpendicular to this line. The formula or concept that is required to solve the problem is rectangular components. Any force F can be resolved into two different forces if the angle between those two forces is 90 degrees then it is called rectangular components of forces. If the angle between those two forces is not 90 degrees then it is called general components of forces. First consider this force. Let this force F makes an angle theta with the horizontal. You can resolve this force into two components. One force is along x axis, another force is along y axis. The angle between this x and y axis is 90 degrees. Hence, I can say it is rectangular components. What is the component of the force along x axis? Remember, here the force F makes an angle theta with the x axis. Hence, the x component is cos component. And that magnitude is F cos theta. F. And similarly, the component of the force along y axis is F y is equal to F sin theta. And what about the directions? A thumb rule I am saying for directions. If force is divergent, these two forces are also divergent. If this force is convergent, these two forces are also convergent. What do you mean by that? For example, if the same force I want to resolve here, this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis. And this makes an angle theta with the horizontal. Clearly you can see as far as this point is concerned, this force is convergent. Hence, the two forces, one force act along x-axis, this is fx, direction is this one, F y direction is this one. All three forces must be convergent. But here all three forces must be divergent. That is the thumb rule you can remember. Let us consider this second one. The same force F makes an angle theta with the y axis. We would like to resolve this force along y axis and x axis. Since angle between x and y axis is 90 degrees, we can consider these are the rectangular components. What is the directions of this force? Fx, this is divergent, and Fy, this is also divergent. All three are divergent. 
and what is the magnitude of the forces f y since this f makes an angle theta with the y axis y component becomes cos because it is at the center and the other component becomes sin this is the thumb rule you can find the first thumb rule all forces must be either convergent or divergent the second thumb rule is the adjacent side component becomes cos since this force makes theta with the y axis so y component becomes f cos theta similarly let us consider this this force f this makes an angle theta with the y axis i would like to resolve this force into along x and y axis angle between those two is 90 degrees since here also f is divergent those two forces components must also be divergent fx and f now here this force makes an angle theta with the y axis hence the y component becomes cos theta horizontal component becomes sin theta same force for example i want to resolve here can you understand now the same force i want to resolve here as far as this point is concerned this force is convergent and this makes an angle theta with the vertical so the two components of the forces one force is acting like this another force will act like this and this is of course fx is equal to f sin theta and this is fy is equal to f cos theta okay now let us take the last case there is a force f which makes an angle theta with the x axis i want to resolve this force f so as far as this point is concerned this is divergent so my force components are also divergent and this also makes an angle theta with the x axis hence x component becomes cos and y component becomes sin so f y becomes f sin theta and fx is equal to f cos theta so these are the rectangular components so in this problem the weight q is acting in the downward direction let us draw our x and y axis so one axis is parallel to this inclined plane so i am transferring that onto a separate place and perpendicular to perpendicular to that plane this one this i am transferring to some some space so this i will consider as my x axis this i will consider as my y axis now our interest is to resolve this q along this x and y so let us transfer this q force onto this xy plane and given that q is equal to 44.5 newtons now the most important point of this problem is we need to find the angle between the q and either x axis and y axis since this inclined plane makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal q makes an angle 30 degrees with the perpendicular to that inclined plane okay so this angle will be 30 degrees this angle will be 30 degrees once you know that this angle is 30 degrees you can resolve into a long y axis and x axis by using that thumb rule the component of the force q along y axis is like this the component of the 
force Q along x-axis is like this. Given that component of the force along y-axis is Qn, the component of the force along x-axis is Q. Since the Q makes an angle 30 degrees with the Qn, Qn becomes cos component, Qt becomes sine component. Hence, Qn is equal to Q into cos 30 and this value is 44.5 into cos 30 that is 38.54 meters. And the other component that is Q2 becomes sine component. So, this is Q2 is equal to Q into sine 30, 44.5 into sine 30, which gives the value of 22.25 newtons. So, the final one becomes, so this we can transfer back to the inclined plane. So, this becomes Qn and this becomes Qt and the answers are this is 22.25 newtons and this is Qt 38.54 newtons. These are the components of Q parallel and perpendicular to the inclined plane. My dear friends and students, if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design, namely strength of materials, theory of machines, machine design, engineering mechanics, finite element method, mechanical vibrations, please give the reference in the comment section so that I will solve the problem, prepare a video and upload in my channel. Please subscribe and share my video to